Um, David, 1-0 defeat. We haven't, we haven't spoke about a defeat at home this season. First one, is no, it? No, finally. Finally, come on. Oh, come on. We've, been, we've just been found out by a team. We've just played We've played seven of the bottom seven, I think. Yeah. And we've beaten them. Yeah. Yeah. We've come against a team that plays crap football. Because they do. Big oh, we did as well. Football. Yeah. And we couldn't cope with it. Yeah. Roxham could have. I could have. Roxham could have scored that goal on that free kick. Where's the defending? Yet again, mm. the defending is shockingly bad on set plays, mm. and that's where every single goal. If I think you'll find nearly every single goal Norwich conceded this year have been on set plays. Yeah. Jacob, sorry, he's got to go for a little while. Not having a go at him. He's yeah. been. He's been. Yeah, yeah. He's been outstanding. He's getting knackered. He's not up to the stretch. Getting back in the under twenty threes for a few games, and if you if you don't play Jacob, Josh. You've got to play Pritchard. Yeah. Pritchard, I don't know what he'd done wrong against Rotherham, because to be fair, we were poor against Rotherham. Yeah. Yeah. But he was the one that shined. He came on, and he was the only one on that pitch that looked like he wanted to get the equaliser. Let's be fair about it. The only one on the pitch that wanted to get that equaliser. So there you go. Do you think it's, I would probably agree with you in the terms of being figured out. I mean, Fulham, we kind of, I wouldn't say got away with it, because you were there? I'll take you were Fulham. There, you? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. They and how bad were we? Yeah, first half we were good, but second half we were second poor. Half. We were poor. And who was the best player on the pitch in that game? Chris Martin. Second best player on the pitch in that game? Sonny Luko. No. <laughs> Scott Russell. Parker. Right. And how old Scott Parker? God knows. <laughs> Where's Houlihan got found out today by, by midfield? Mm. Again, how many times do you lose the ball? You okay. lose. Wes is a luxury. If Wes loses the ball, we've had it. Mm. And what happened today? We were at it every time. I think we time. sometimes rely on Wes a bit too much. Yeah, of course we do, because he, he's a superstar. Yeah. Allegedly. I had a bloke in front of me today saying, how can you knock Wes Houlihan? Well, I'm sorry, Wes Houlihan loses the ball far too much yet again. Do you think that's because he's trying to create things, though? Because yeah, it... because the players aren't switched on to his head. Yeah. But, however, we did see glimpses at Pritchard and Wes at Rotherham where it could actually connect. So play the bloody bloke. Yeah. In terms of a play we haven't really spoke about so far, and a man who hasn't really set the, set the world on fire, Oliveira came in for a decent price tag. Can I, can I say one thing about Oliveira today? I don't know what he was doing half the game because he, when he came on, he was in the midfield. However, there was one thing that happened in that game which Cameron Jerome hasn't had a chance of doing this season. Mm. He won a header. And Ger- we, oh, Jerome, that's unfair. No, 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 Jerome's no, 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 wait, I haven't finished. He won a header which actually went on to a Norwich City player. Who was that player? Oliveira. Because he was out. And what happened? We got a free kick outside the box. Where's Houlihan? Playing in front of him? Never in a million years. So you work that one out. Because Oliveira actually got the ball from Jerome's header. Mm. Jerome must have thought, thank God for that. I've got finally someone who's behind me who I can win a header with. Because mm. Jerome wins every single header. Yeah. But there's no one ever there to back it up. Today, we got a free kick outside the box. All right, it was a good free kick from Pritchard. It's always going wide. I don't know why people are getting excited for it. It's going to hit the outside of the post. But... The opportunity was there. I think it's a change of formation need. We've played the same formation all season. It's done. It's been effective for the, sort of the past what three months. But, but now, was it effective when we went up from the championship two years ago, Jack? It, we, 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 that formation was it effective? got. Effective. Well, we went up. How many? Yeah. And what did we play for most of that season? Two up front. Do you think that's what we need now? Then we need to change it. We need to change it. And unfortunately, we've only got two strikers because mm. obviously. Your mate Carl. Carl is not in the frame. Yeah. Um, maybe he'll play Tuesday night. I don't know. Yeah. All right, David. Thanks all very right. much. Cheers, mate. Sure. Big thank you to Credo Asset Finance for sponsoring all match day content here on Talk Norwich City. As you can see from this end card, you can win yourself FIFA 17 thanks to the competition that we're running. All you have to do is click on the link in the description, follow the instructions there, uh, like the Facebook post that they've got, and follow their Facebook page, and you'll be entered for the FIFA 17 competition on any console you want. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you later.